moving into the west and south side of town. Non-severe storms right now, 76 degrees. Notice the dew point really increased, and you could feel that moisture in the air. That's at 60. 5 degrees south southeast winds presently at 6. Here's super Doppler rate. The areas in red are the heaviest rainfall and where you have the more concentrated lightning, frequent lightning from Panora West down in the winter set and Lamoni. All this is sweeping off to the northeast. This is just some light rain right now in Dallas and Warren County, but the heavier rain west of Winterset, Stewart, Adair to the north. You could see the slow movement on this. I really do think as the night goes along, we are going to have some problems with some flash flooding off to the west and southwest. Here's your KCCI News Apple kind of honing on the precipitation chances. You can see that from 7 to 9 o'clock. I think there'll be a break, and then we may get another round of rain in early morning on Friday. And then after that, most of Friday looks to be dry until later in the day. 9 a.m. temperature 69, 1 p.m. temperature 76 degrees. Here's a look at the big picture. Look at all this rain down and through Kansas and Missouri. Any area you see here in yellow is a tornado watch that extends to eastern Colorado and down in through Oklahoma. Our tornado watch, including the Des Moines Metro, in effect until 10 o'clock. The only cell that's nearby with a tornado warning on it right now is this cell in Nebraska City. Now, notice it's moving northeast. We'll have to keep an eye on this. If this would be held, hold together, it would be headed up towards Red Oak eventually. So that's the cell we're watching for now. Right now, the general rains continue to move on through. Notice anywhere north of Interstate 80 and east of I-35, generally dry right now. Here's future cast. It's lagging behind just a bit on the rain, but it will catch up and give you kind of a, a look at the general picture. Notice how most of the rain stays down south. There's that secondary round on Friday off to the northeast and southwest. And then most of Friday afternoon quiet. It looks like very late Friday night into Saturday morning. Another round of storms moving on through. That pushes through. Then Saturday has a break before more scattered storms a bit later in the day. Rainfall could be heavy, and I think especially off to the west and southwest. Some locations may squeeze out near two inches with well over an inch in the metro and on a heavier line to northeastern Iowa. So tonight, 66 degrees. Tornado watch until 10 o'clock. Thunderstorms likely. Some of these could be severe. Southeast winds 5 to 10. Tomorrow, that high is 78. The best chance for storms on Friday very early, and then again very late south winds 5 to 15. Holiday weekend right now. Saturday, best chance of rain early. Could be a few storms later in the day. All of Sunday looks dry. Memorial Day, mainly dry with late day storms. Notice the temperatures in the 80s Sunday and Monday. It stays a little active early next week, and temperatures stay above normal right